What's up, gamers? Welcome back to Lumion Legacy. As you can see, I'm chilling out here with my little Willow, who's currently asleep. That is not the face that you make when you're asleep. Doesn't know what to think of you. Well, she'll learn. My Willow's a female. Just so you know. But this dude said that I could get some more Lumions. Are you interested in purchasing another one of the lab's Lumions? Sure, how much is it? He said purchase. How much is Feevine? Fifty Robux? Boy, you must be out of your mind. If you think I'm taking that. Fifty Robux, dude. Scandalous. So today, hopefully, five small meds. What else did I find in this secondary chest? Five capture discs. Uh huh. Is there anything else in here? Anything else that I can click on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. Well, okay. So hopefully today we're gonna um, go into the Gale Forest and see what we can do about this here missing tablet piece. I love that I can run. Look at my little eaglet follow me around. Good eaglet. Nice eaglet. Pat, pat, pat. Okay, well, she still doesn't know anything about me. That's fine. And who are you? Hello. One of these days, I'm going to get my own Lumion from the lab. Yeah. I just don't know if I'm ready yet. A friend of mine told me that I shouldn't be worried, though. She said that Lumions are good, dependable creatures that make good companions. Well, thanks for the info, my dude. Hey, look, it's a player. Oh, I hate that they stare. That's some creepy stuff right there. Uh, I'm not going to talk to every NPC. I might talk to some significant ones, though. Like this dude, who's just standing here. Look, watch. Watch, watch, watch. watch. Look at his face. He goes... It's weird. What a weirdo, dude. Bzz, bzz. Someone is calling you on your Luma watch. Hey, Equa, it's Mom. Before you run out onto Route 1, I want to quickly explain something. If you use the key I gave you and opened the closet in the lab and took what was inside the boxes, then you should have some capture discs. Okay. I get this. I understand how this works. You just throw a capture disc and sometimes you capture... I, I get it. I get it. Don't worry, Mom. You taught me well. I already know all of this. I'm good. But thank you for the concern. Straight away on Route 1. Twittle. Okay. It's a little twittle. My will is actually a male, but you know what? It's we'll we'll work on it. Willow and I. Ooh, that's that's a strong move. You know what? I'm gonna go straight for the capture disc, we'll see how it works. <laughs> Throw it like a frisbee. I like how it just spins around. Like in the Triforce. And I caught my first Lumion. Name's Twiddle Court? Yes. What should we call this Twiddle? I'm gonna call this Twiddle Fred. It's a female, never mind. I'm gonna call her. You wanna know why I'm gonna call her cheap? I'm gonna call her cheap, dear viewer. Because it didn't cost me anything to get her, and birds go cheap cheap. Pun. Love it. Love a good pun. This dude got a van bat. Look at it fly. That's super dope. There's something in my eye. What is down here? Can I do anything with this? I guess we'll find out after I fight this Cathorn. You know what? I'll catch this one too. You know, I'm trying to be the very best, like no one ever was. Gotta catch them all. Lumions. And it's not like I'm running low on, on capture discs or anything, so... You know, we'll see. 
Plus, bugs are not bad to have early game because normally they evolve quite quickly. So I wouldn't mind. Can we enter Cathorn set? Yes. I'm going to call this Cathorn. I'm going to call him. It's her. It's not a female. I'm going to call her. Um. Rose, because roses have thorns. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of thinking that goes into my nicknames when it comes to new Pokemon. <laughs> new Pokemon, new uh, Lumians. So I just can't go down here? You probably need a move to get past, I imagine. Look at this Twittle. My Twittle's more strong than you. Friggin' Twittle. I just moved my, uh, my gameplay, I'm so sorry. This is a good chance for me to get some EXP. Some EXP. Because I need some. My Willow needs some XP. 21 experience. Level 7, boys. We in that strong Lumion club. Look at this. Look at this thing. Twillet. There's lots of like tw and at sounds. Twittle, Cathorn, Twillet. Use Dawdle. I don't know why that would lower my defense. Surely, like, if you're dawdling around, then you're not doing anything. Okay. I gotta give this thing a nickname, too. I'm running out of nicknames, you guys. You know what? I've got it. Because... All of my other names have been kind of simple. I'm going to call him... Twilatiniqua. Yes. That's good. And straight away into another... Another Lumion. Wow, the, the uh, encounter rate is kind of high. I didn't expect it to be that high. But I'm not complaining about it. So does my, I guess my energy cost, or my total energy resets after every fight? But it's an interesting mechanic because I could see it causing you to swap out your Lumions in a lot of different fights. You know what I'm going to do here? Where's my party? It's just Lumions. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting someone else to have some experience. Let's go with Cheap for now. Cheap has the most HP outside of Willow. My Lumions and I come out here right off the yeah. Is it Youngster Joey? It's Jeremy. It's Youngster Jeremy. I caught the reference. Lando, if you're watching, I want you to know that I caught your reference. So I didn't catch what, what type Twillet was. I guess it's just probably like a normal type. Or an un- a uh, typeless? Untype. A typeless? Oh, I need to get out of there. You know what? Let's go to Rose. It's unfortunate that Twilataniqua is such a low level. Because he can't really, you know, do anything. Bug Bite. It's a bug type move. Is it super effective? No, but it drains HP. Very nice. Very nice move there. You suck that life out of him. Good job, Rose. Rose and Cheap, Dream Team. Cathorn. I don't know if this is a good idea, because Cheap is very, very low on HP. But I'm going to go in and I'm just going to peck. I'm going to peck it. We'll see how much damage it does. It's level 3, so it's not very high. Oh, I see, so it'll tell you if something is super effective or not. Okay. Use Gnaw. Cheap. You let me down. You really did. I guess I'll just go out into Rose again. Get some XP going all around. All around the show. Um, I'm assuming that Stare is like... 
a defensive thing. Yeah, low is defense. Again, I'm not too sure why staring at someone with lower defense. Personally, if I'm on the street and someone starts staring at me, my defense is raised. Like, I'm immediately going, okay. But, I mean, I guess in Lumion eyes, it works a little bit differently. And, you know, that's totally fine. I don't know where I can heal, so I'm a little bit nervous to fight a bunch of uh, wild Lumians right now. Can I go around the back? Oh, your boy. Your boy is insane IQ right now. Can I go around the back of this person? Nearly! I nearly could. Worth a shot. I was nervous about me spending time training my Lumians. She obviously doesn't know there's something that I clicked off too soon. Shana? Sh Shana? Shana? I don't know. Okay, I think we'll just stick with the big guns for right now. I'm not sending out Rose against this thing. She's uh, weak to it. So it's not wise to do that. Who else you got? Cathorn. You know what? I'll put my Cathorn against your Cathorn. And I would like you to know, Shana. I'm so, I'm assuming that her name is Shana. I would like you to know that your Cathorn has an advantage over mine because it has more HP. Oh, this is not weak. It's just normal. It's just flat out normal. Interesting. Your Cathorn has an advantage over mine, Shana, because you're, you have H more HP. I want you to know. This is going to go on for a while. I'm pretty sure. I think... <clears throat> I think I might have to just go back out into... Willow. Take a hit. It pains me. I'd have to wait a turn anyway, right? Because doesn't Nor take... Yeah, Nor takes 15 energy cost anyway, so... If I want to keep Rose alive... I could sacrifice Twilight. I'm going to sacrifice Twilight and Equa. I'm sorry. Has to be done. It's very cute, though. Twilight and Equa, she's got that going for her. Or him. He's got that going for him. Shine. Shine bright like a diamond. Willow's friggin' killing it right now. Willow is MVP. 100%. Right. Oh, there's an item over there. Yeah, I can go get it. I can run from every encounter. I'll be fine. You know, my greed... You, you'll learn this quickly when you watch me play. My greed... Higher than the average bear. Right? So... I love how you kick it. I love that you kick it open. It's just like... You just see this chest on the ground like... Dude, heck you! I love that. So this is the Gale Forest, I think. No, this is Route 1. This is not the Gale Forest. Can I do anything up here? Is there like a secret item? No. Yes, no, maybe so. No. That would appear not. Cheshma Town. Cheshma is a weird word to say. I like the, I like the way that it feels when I say it. But it's strange. It's an uncommon feeling. Cheshma. Cheshma. This reminds me have what's uh this reminds me of Jubilife. Jubilife City. Just quick glance. Now may I please heal my, my Lumians. I need to heal my Lumians. Please. They're dying. Hello. 
Welcome to Lumian Goods. I don't want Lumian Goods. I just want to rest my Lumians. Get them healed up. Please. As you can have seven Lumians, not six. I wonder if you can... Do Lumians get multi-types or are they just single types? Questions. This is a big city. Oh, look at the happy couple in front of the... What was the thing's name? Dripple. Dribble? I don't know. Whatever the, the Lumian's name was. What's this? This is the Kabunga Coffee. The Obunga Coffee. This is the Gale Forest. Look at those trees. I promise I'm not making this up. Those Lumians, I saw them with my own eyes. They were possessed with an evil spirit. They attacked me with incredible strength. The aura it gave off was dark and chilling. Something has disturbed the souls of this forest. What you're saying is absurd. There are no evil wild Lumians in these woods. He's right. These woods have always been watched over by a guardian spirit. I've lived in these woods for many years, and I am telling you, I have never seen anything like this. I believe Dusket, the guardian spirit of these woods, may be a key element in the local Lumians' change of behavior. <coughs> that voice is hard to do. Nonsense. The guardian spirit is a protector of the woods. Sir, your claims simply do not make any sense. Fine then. Don't listen to me. I know something has disturbed our sacred forest, and I will get to the bottom of this myself if I have to. Good day to you, sir. Hey, you! Uh, I'm not here, okay? I was not a part of this. I was just on my way into the forest, and you happened to be here and see me. I had nothing to do with this. Yeah, you come here. You are a small man. I did not realize. You look like a Lumian trainer. Listen, I need your help. Nobody will believe what I saw earlier today. Something in these woods has changed over the course of the last few days. Duskit, a guardian spirit, has protected these woods for centuries. I've visited it from time to time, and it's always been gentle. Except, of course, when I went to visit this morning. Would you mind investigating this matter a little more for me? I would go back myself, but I am defenseless and cannot withstand another attack. Maybe having two eyewitnesses will convince the law to take this more seriously. Duskit usually resides in a grove deep within the woods, under a flowering tree. I'm going to go inside and rest now for a bit. I've had a long day. Good luck, young trainer. You know, there's a, there's a Lumian healer thing right there. You could just go there and then go back. I just want to let you know. People seem to think that I want to do their dirty work for them. And I, you know, I hate to say it, but it's simply not true. Twittle. I'm assuming, I don't know if there is going to be like a multi-type thing uh, as you evolve your Lumians. But I'm assuming that if there, if there is, then this one will become like a, a plant flying type. Or something. Antsy. That's what I am right now. To catch this Antsy. Ooh, super effective. And this thing is defensive. My goodness. I'm gonna be here for a while, cheap. Not my defense. No. I'll be fine. Cheap's got this, dude. Ansi used Gnaw. Should've used Bug Bite, my dude. Dawdle, my defense goes down again. You know what, I think now is the time that we frisbee over a capture disc. <sighs> Nailed it. Ansi was successfully captured. I will give a nickname to it. I'm gonna call it... 
I'm gonna call him Popper. Because he looks like a little jalapeno. Little jalapeno Popper. Cheap grew to level 5. Good job, Cheap. Proud of you. <clears throat> I'd call you Big Dog, but I'm worried that might not be uh, very nice to hear. <clears throat> okay, I'm not, f I'm not fast about fighting the Twittles. They're just Twittles. What's that? I want to go over there, but first, I suspect there may be secrets over here. What is... Oh my goodness. Speaking of secret... He was hidden! Lots of bug types. Cade. Grubby. Can't wait to catch one of those. Premonition. Has a feeling that cheap nose pounce. I guess Premonition doesn't warn against super effective moves, but it warns against a move. Which is interesting. <sighs> Down goes the grubby. I apologize if I'm yawning a lot today. Um, I didn't sleep last night, so I'm on I'm on an all nighter right now. So my deepest apologies for that. Cheap is about to level up hardcore. Cheap's about to get mad experience from this battle, dude. I wonder what the first gym will be. I also wonder, when it comes to light and dark, who which is more effective against the other? I will not switch Lumians. Because, I don't know if, like... Do you think that... Uh, I guess it just alerts to the first move, if that makes sense. I guess stereotypically light would triumph over dark, but I don't know if it will do the same in this game. 30 experience, mad levels for cheap. Rocking out, dude. Cheap, you're nailing it. I love this one. Pida. I really like the look of this one. It poisoned me. I gotta take this. I gotta catch it. I have to. I have to catch it. I love that. That's great. Pida, I want you on my squad. Join us. Ooh, Pida's a, a difficult one. I'm going to attack it again. Pounce on it, cheap. Nice. Good job. Let's throw another capture disc. I only have two left. Oh. That's not good. Love it. Caught him. Ha. Huh. I always get that confused. I'm gonna call her... It's stereotypical, but I guess I'll just call her Ariana. Because it's like Arachnid. Or Ariadna. So, is Cheap still poisoned? Cheap is still poisoned. Ah, you get... You get five, and then two benched. So you can only have five in a battle. Got you, got you, got you, got you. I'm going to be honest, I don't know how much playtime Twilatin Equal is going to get. I apologize about that. I just realized we've been recording for 25 minutes. Wow. Wow. We've got to end this episode soon. John... Time flies when you're having fun. Ansi looks like a little plant. Oh, I guess it's like a plant type then. It's not a bug type. Okay. Kind of looks like a tomato. 
I should have called it tomato. It doesn't matter. It still kind of looks like a jalapeno to me. Bug bite him, Rose. Drain his life. <laughs> Be gone. You're not worthy of Rose. Oh, the benched Lumians get experience. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. So I guess what I'm going to do... I haven't really had the opportunity to do this yet. My defense is already super duper low anyway. So I'm going to rest. And that gives me 60. Cool. That's pretty neato. It has bug bite too. It won't matter. Rose will destroy. Rose always destroys. Good job, Rose. Level 6. Oh, I failed. Dang straight you have, John. Alright, well. I didn't realize that we've been recording for this long. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. I know it's abrupt, but don't you worry, because we'll have another episode up tomorrow to satisfy all of your Lumion legacy needs. But until then, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to click the like button, because it tells me that I'm doing a good job, and that you guys want to see more. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, so thank you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.